Hello. Just got finished watching the Ronda Rousey fight, which was epic. Also had a couple of other good fights in this pay-per-view. Um, but I wanted to talk about something. I want to talk about the fights that weren't on TV. This was the one night, the first time I've ever been in Buffalo Wild Wings on a UFC fight night, and there wasn't a cop there at all. No guard, security, anything. We had two and a half fights. The first one was this uh, young guy um, saying some very rude things to this old man's family. And he decided he wasn't going to take any more of it. And um, um, he was going to beat this young man up. Which, you know, the young man probably dissolved it. Uh, but um, he got kicked out of the um, of Buffalo Wild Wings. And right after the Ronda Rousey fight, I didn't see it, but I heard it. But um, some people, some I think some young men um, or boys, uh, men tend not to act like this. Um, but um, one of them broke a glass on this other guy and supposedly cut his neck up pretty good. I didn't go out to see. Uh, I didn't want to be just one of those, you know, uncaring guys in the uh, background staring at crap. As far as you know, not that the man who got cut was crap, but, you know, I, I didn't want to... I enjoy MMA and sportsmanship and martial sports, but I really don't enjoy, um, you know, this kind of violence. And um, I didn't want to go out there and just be a looky-loo. Um, also, if the guy was still out there, uh, you know, who knows what else he's capable of. And, um, after the cops and the paramedics got there, by the way, one of the ladies who looked at the uh, guy who got cut thought he was gone. You know, he was bleeding badly, laying limp on the floor. And, um, so she thought he was gone. I don't know if this is true. I, I pray that it isn't true. But, um, after the cops got there, two other young men, boys, idiots, got in a fight. Um, probably some kind of retaliation thing, um, probably between the two groups and the police. Uh, I saw the fight happening. The police weren't at quite outside, uh, stopping the fight at the moment. I yelled as loud as I could. We need some cops over here. Uh, some cops were on their way. Um, and I, I realize some people find it offensive when I refer to police officers as cops, but it's a legitimate terminology. Uh, I can get into that later. But anyways, they had to wrestle them to the ground, and it should have never have happened. None of this should have ever have happened. And um, not that I'm an expert on self-defense or fighting and stuff, but I, I am knowledgeable. And I want to explain some things to you. First off, if you can't go to a, a sports bar and drink in peace... You know, drink without uh, getting to drunk to the point where you can't fight or you can't not fight someone. You don't need a drink. Better yet, don't drink in public and get drunk in public. You you might be able to drink in public. Just have one drink, one or two. That's it. Um, but don't get drunk in public. Um, I know that's kind of what bars are for, but. I never drink to get drunk. I drink to get a flavor that I can't get otherwise. And, um, you know, um, getting drunk makes you do stupid things. I know, I know, I had two of my friends. Uh, one of them I know was killed by a drunk driver. The other one, I think my friend was drinking and driving at the same time. He wasn't really like a close friend, but I graduated with him. So, um, if you don't have a designated driver, a babysitter, or um, if you can't, get drunk without, without getting violent, you don't need to drink. Um, also, some very, very good advice that um, will probably go a long way. I'm not saying it's 100% um, a um, cure-all for anything, but if you bump into someone in a bar and they're drunk and they want to fight you, the, your best self-defense is, excuse me, I'm sorry, can I buy you a drink? End the situation there. Don't turn your back on them. Back away. Um, if you can do it without looking aggressive. And um, if you can defuse the situation, even if they're wrong and you did nothing wrong, 
you know, if you feel you could defuse it by buying them a drink and making them happy, that's the best thing you can do. Um, you know, if you have a tab and um, yeah, you don't have the luxury of staying and paying, just throw some bills on the uh, counter. You know, um, it might be more than what you owe and um, get out of the situation. Leave. And I'm very, very against turning your back on a dangerous situation because I've been uh, attacked when I walked off before. So um, uh, I don't do it. I back away or I stay on my ground in some situations. But, um, you know, and it's very difficult to think clearly when the adrenaline is pumping. And it's hard for men to admit that they're wrong or to um, have reason when the adrenaline's up. So, um, also, I want to say this. A lot of people um, down me and um, try to um, make me out as a coward for uh, carrying a weapon and saying that I use it on anybody who threatens my well-being. Um, I carry knives, and, um, you know, they're like, well, you know, well, you should man up. Don't be a coward. I don't believe in that. Um this man is possibly dead from a broken beer bottle or whatever glass object it was. Uh, I think it was a beer bottle or a beer glass. Um, normally people don't perceive that as a weapon. Even if they don't have a object as a weapon, if there's no referee knowing to break up the fight and they continue to pound you, kick you, kick you in the head while you're down, um, bash your skull in repeatedly while you're on the ground and possibly unconscious, that's deadly force. Um, you know, the law might not consider it... Well, it depends on the laws, I guess, state to state, but um, those many documented situations where, um, you know, mob mentality, a group of people just stop other people to death. They knock them down on the ground and continue beating them until they'll die. So if someone's threatening me with um, harm to myself, uh, they might not be intending to kill me. They might just think, oh, I'm going to kick his ass and, you know, teach him a lesson. I don't know that. I don't know if they're going to stop when uh, I'm unconscious. I don't know if um, their friends are not going to jump in. I don't know if they have something hidden that I don't know about. That's why I don't play. That's why I carry knives. And uh, if I went into places that, if I frequent places that were um, uh, a little bit more uh, concealed, uh, handgun friendly, you know, if um, I'm, I might have a concealed handgun permit, but you know, sports balls. My public school does allow certain people to conceal carry, but th their training is very extensive. I don't know if I can do it. Um, and um, so I, I haven't explored that because it's so uh, demanding for, for what they're doing in the public schools. And, um, you know, I, I just don't know if I can handle it. Um, but... Um, yeah, um, it is very, very possible that this young man who possibly had too much pride to uh, back down could have, lo could have or might have lost his life over something stupid. I don't even know what the argument is about. We're watching uh, Ronda Rousey fight. It was by far one of the highlights of the uh, night. Well, it wasn't the highlight of the night, the fight the non-televised fights war, but when Rhonda won um, the way that she did and uh, dominated, I never heard um, Buffalo Wild Wings in Lufkin, Texas get so loud with cheering. They were chanting USA, Rhonda, Rhonda. Uh, just, it was a very bonding moment for all of the uh, Ronda fans in there, which was about 90%, I guess. Um, what, so, um, and then to have this, um, well, the first, I call it the half fight, because the f 
far as I know, the um, they separated the people out before it got, you know, physical. Um, that happened way early in the, um, you know, evening. Um, and he wasn't drunk. I think the young man was drunk, but the old man was drinking Pepsi the whole night, all evening. And he got kicked out. And, um, so, yeah. I'm, not only am I hopped up on sweet tea, but seeing those people fight and all those people just watching, filming with those cell phones, it just, it just, it rubbed me the wrong way. I understand that, you know, filming some stuff like that could be used as evidence, but, um, and I'm not saying I'm for vigilantism, but why didn't anybody break the two up? Why did we have to wait for cops? I was, you know, a good what distance away when I yelled for the cops. And um, I'm not a strong man. I can't manhandle people. Um, I, I, I know techniques where I can manipulate people, but I can't handle two people. And uh, luckily, the police officers were able to um, restrain them, handcuff them and stuff. But it just seemed odd to me that they had the spectatorship. Um, and um, I don't know. I'm just, I, I'm bummed. I truly am bummed. Um, so, if you go to any sports ball or balls in general, uh, I would encourage you to... Um, be the designated driver because you'll be more likely to be able to think out what you, your moves. I'm not talking about strategy in the fight, but you'll be able to think your way out of a bad situation. Um, you know, um, and if you have problems when you drink, if you're an aggressive drunk, you need to quit drinking. I'm not a, a prohibitionist or prohibitionist. I'm not a... Um, but um, you gotta, you know, you know if you have problems with drinking, and I know that some people can't uh, control it when they're around alcohol, but if you have that problem, you need to remove yourself from that problem. And um, just stupid young guys. I don't understand it. They gotta, they gotta prove how tough they are, and... It's not about being tough. I used to be one of those people. I gotta be tough. I gotta be tough. But it's not about being tough. Really, the best thing you can do is um, show mercy if you if you're a um, the person that's um, being harassed. Um, you know, don't get in fights over petty things, and. Um, I'm starting to ramble. Bullet points. Know what you can handle when it comes to alcohol in public. If you have to, apologize and buy the person who's harassing you a drink. If it makes them happy and not want to hit you or attack you, then you won the day. And don't believe in the um, be a man, don't be a coward. Because in the heat of the moment, you don't know what they're going to do.